Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's David Fame here, aka McGiddy Fat Fat. And today I'm coming to you guys from the city of brotherly love. So, we're gonna go to the most infamous wars the famous Pat and Gino's Cheesesteak War. I'm gonna tell you guys who's the winner after this. Let's eat. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Hi. Can I get a wit wit whiz, please? Cheese and onions? Yes, ma'am. Eleven dollars. Oh guys, check that out, check that out. Hello. The infamous cat steaks right here. Woo! Check it out, guys, check it out. So he uh, Damn guys, look at this. That's alright. Damn, guys, check this out. The whiz, the melted whiz with the onions, the nicely shaved beef steak. Oh, check that out. Damn, look at the tender, thinly sliced beef, caramelized onions, the melted cheese whiz. Oh, the nice hearty sub roll. Guys, oh, I can't, I can't. Let's go. Mmm. Wow! Wow, that's pretty solid. Mmm. The beef's tender, the cheese is melted, onions are nice and mixed all in ooey and gooey. Wow. Wow. Perfectly salty. Oh. The, the bread just soaks all the grease and the fat in. And it literally just melts in your mouth, guys. Oh, can't get enough. One more bite, one more bite. Mm. Mm. Check that out, check that out. Soft, tender beef, ooey gooey. All right, guys, that was Pat Steaks, King of Steaks in uh, Philadelphia. All right, I tasted that. Uh, we're gonna cross the street. We're gonna go over to Gina's, and I will tell you guys the verdict. Let's go. Uh, yeah. What y'all think about that? It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we just crossed the street. Now we're getting that Gino steaks. Let's get it. Can I get uh, just upstairs? Wiz, please. Onions. Yes. All right, onions. All right, Wiz, Wiz. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, this got my Gino steaks. Let's eat. Uh, so where are you traveling from? Uh, Atlantic City. Yeah, where are you originally traveling from, though? Uh, what? Oh, don't go around here? What do you mean? Are you from Philadelphia or are you from? Uh, from Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, born and raised in Atlantic City. Yeah, you'll see me subscribing by tonight. Then. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, all right, guys, they gave me a little Eat Like Local bands. Let me put one on for y'all. Check that out. Check that out. I got some souvenirs traveling today, guys. All right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh, this cheesesteak is nice and soft. It's tender. Oh, check this meat out, guys. Check it out. Oh. They use, they use, uh, what is it? Young ribeye, calf. A calf, that's a baby cow, guys. So the meat is extra tender. Oh man, look at the sandwich. It's ooey gooey, all melts together. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. No more, no more waiting, guys, no more. Mm. Wow. Wow. I just got a wow, you guys see this? This, this is, oh my God, this is so good. I'm having a beat. Mm. Wow. That's exactly what a Philly cheese is supposed to taste like. Let me show you guys again. The one and only, man. This is, oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is, oh, the beef is so tender. The cheese whiz and the onions, it soaks up by the bread and it all just melts together. It literally just melted in my mouth. The, oh, it's like eating a steak. 
but on a sandwich. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Wow, guys. That's so good. They just invited me into the back of their kitchen. Let's go. Wow. Guys, guys, I think I found it. I found the employee entrance. Oh, they let me in the back today, guys. <laughs> oh, we're inside of Gino's steaks right now, guys. This is one of the most iconic cheesesteak places in Philadelphia. Woo! Check it out, guys. Just can't go too far because of the food and all. Okay, okay. Understood, understood. What's up, man? Hi, how are you guys? How you feeling, buddy? How you feeling, all right? I'm feeling good. Wow, guys, check it out. Look, that's where they cook all that ribeye, that baby calf. Oh, it's so tender and it melts in the mouth. And all that onion, you guys see that just sitting there right there like that? And they build a sandwich and it just melts ooey gooey and it melted in my mouth. It's all about that ribeye, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, she has one on too and, and her mask. Where are you guys from? Uh, New Jersey, Lang right. City, born nice. and raised. Cool, man. Sounds yeah. Good. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. No thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, right here, Nikki. Guys, check it out. We're in Gino's Steaks in Philadelphia. The city of brotherly love, this thing literally just melted in my mouth as I bit it. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I'm currently in my office and I'm going to give you guys the winner of the cheesesteak war between Geno's and Pat's. I didn't do it there, right there and then, because it's a very, very hostile area to choose between one or the other they have their own cult followings some people believe Geno's some people believe in Pat's uh, so I didn't want to <laughs> give a verdict in front of uh, the crowds I didn't want to you know get the criticized or you know whatever happens by the people of Philadelphia they're diehard like followers of their uh their uh, favorite cheesesteaks in philadelphia there you know everyone has their own favorite so let me give you guys a quick recap pats um it was uh, a heartier meat a heartier piece of steak uh both had the onions basically the same type of roll a philly roll a hearty sub roll uh they put uh cheese whiz i ordered cheese whiz on both of them and onions and the steaks so the steak had more bite to it. It was still very tender, but the cheese whiz was slathered on more. As you guys can see, like it was dripping. The uh, Geno's, it's a more tender cut of meat um, because they use uh, calf or veal, whatever you want to call it. So it's a baby uh, ribeye. So the meat is extra tender. It never had the, all the muscles built up. So the meat is actually a lot softer, but the overall build of the Geno's cheesesteak with the cheese whiz, it was more on a slather on the bread only. So it didn't like melt and combine the entire like cheesesteak to one another to build it and, and like a whole cheesesteak. Like, so it was more like a steak sandwich where I just put cheese, steak, onions. I, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Like it's supposed, to, it's still a cheesesteak, but like it's more like a, like a, like a belt layered sandwich. Uh, when I think of cheesesteak, I want that grease filled. I want that slathered on cheese that everything just melts together and mingles together. So, guys, I'm gonna have to give the winner of the cheesesteak battle between Pat and Geno's to Pat's. Like. <laughs> You guys might disagree with me. Some might agree. Some might disagree. Uh, guys, like I said, everyone has their own uh, best cheesesteak in Philadelphia. Uh, but between the two battles, I'm giving it to Pat's. But you guys know what to do. You guys can go there, try both of them, eat, run, run literally across the street to one another, and just buy both and eat it at the same time. And let me know. Drop me a comment below. Hit that like button for me. And you guys know, y'all know what to do. Hit that bell notification icon up here somewhere. See you on my next video. Is thanks, guys.